The polar ice sheets of the Arctic and Antarctica cover one-seventh of the Earth's surface. Because they cap the ends of the Earth, the poles each experience six months of near-constant daylight and six of the darkest winters on the globe. Home of the South Pole, Antarctica is a continent of extremes. The highest, driest, and windiest place on Earth, Antarctica is technically a desert, trapping 70% of the world's fresh water in 90% of the world's ice. There isn't even enough water in the dry air to make snowflakes here. Instead, Antarctica produces diamond dust, best seen at night. A polar meteorologist catches a little dust and unveils its flat, hexagonal shape under a microscope. During the day, diamond dust creates an eerie halo in the sun. Over millions of years, the dust has collected to create an ice cap three miles thick. But at the opposite end of the globe, the North Pole boasts the largest expanse of sea ice. An ocean of ice covers five and a half million square miles. Shipping lanes choked with ice make dangerous highways, and ships with bows made of 12-inch steel must crack and cut their way through. Miscalculations spell disaster. Ships running the lanes early or late in the six-month season are often supported by helicopters charting the safest routes from the skies. South of the North Pole, Greenland glaciers push to the sea and carve as many as 15,000 icebergs in a year. The rogue chunks of ice may tower as high as office buildings, but even greater expanses float unseen below the water's surface. To protect ships from running into icebergs, the U.S. Coast Guard flies an ice patrol. They relay warnings to ships on a collision course. Go ahead. Uh, got an unidentified target, uh, six miles off the uh, three o'clock on the aircraft. Uh, can't see it through the under. While polar ice poses problems for man and machine, the loss of it may prove more devastating. For the last 30 years, the ice shelves around Antarctica have been shrinking. They're disappearing at a rate of more than 1% every 10 years. Global warming, caused by a buildup of man-made greenhouse gases, makes a little more ice melt each year. Melt all the ice sheets, and the sea level would rise a devastating 200 feet. Remote as they are, the ice cap's influence travels the globe.